Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. We're giving this another shot. Can I survive after a nuke gets dropped on my neighborhood? Let's find out. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to 60 Seconds. However, this is the PC version of 60 seconds re-atomized. This is kind of like a remastered version of the mobile version that we played about a week ago. Apparently there's a little bit more content on this version. So I figured, why don't we just play this one? Cause you guys got a kick out of that first episode. I certainly enjoyed it. So we're gonna play it again. Uh, we're doing Apocalypse, which is the full atomic experience. We're gonna play as Ted and we're gonna do it on Fat Man, which is kind of like normal difficulty. Let's do it. I got a lot of really, really good tips in the comment section. Namely, one of the ones that a lot of you guys said was that I only need to feed people every five days or f give them food and water every five days. So I think I was feeding people a little bit too often. So, uh, so we're gonna avoid doing that and uh, we're gonna collect up our family members and do the best we can. Another important thing uh, that I should probably grab is the radio. I did not grab the radio the first time. Let's grab a checkerboard. Sure, why not? Bottled water, we need cans of soup, uh, the bug spray. Sh sure, I guess, I don't know. Where's my wife? I gotta save my wife. Oh no, I, okay, you know what? Just grab some stuff while we're in this room. I don't even know where Dolores is. Dolores, where are you? There you are. Okay, I'm gonna grab you, my dear. Uh, the 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 Boy Scouts handbook is really important too. Uh, grab this water, grab it. Okay, uh, I think we can make one more go. Oh, this is gonna be really close. Let's grab these cans of soup. I did not grab the suitcase. That could be bad. That could be very bad. Uh, is there anything within grabbing this? You know what? No, no, we're, this is it. We're, we're in, we're, we're done, we're, we're going to the bunker. Okay, so I managed to save the entire family. Looks like we've got a decent stock of food and water, although it's not ideal, but it's not terrible. Hey, and check it out, we got a flashlight. Even though I didn't grab one, there was one already down here. Another very common thing that I saw in the comment section as well is that Timmy is an absolute legend and that we should send him out when we have the option to do an expedition. I don't know if we want to do an expedition right off the bat though. Let's move on to day two, shall we? Seems like everybody's doing great. Keep it up, family. Two days down, only 90 more to go. Should we go on an expedition on the second day? Timmy seems quite enthusiastic about the trip. You know what? Timmy, take that enthusiasm and save us. All right, Timmy, get out there. You're the hero that we never knew we had. What should we give Timmy? An ax? A gun? Bug spray? I say we give him an ax. Go get him, tiger. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. <laughs> yeah, but the comments said I don't need to feed him or give him water for at least five days. So that's what I'm rolling with. I've survived five days, look at me. Okay, it is day five and it seems like everybody is dehydrated. Let's give them water, but it seems like we don't really need to give them food. So I ain't gonna feed them. Timmy's not back yet, which Kind of bums me out. Nobody's thirsty. Yay. Timmy. Timmy's not back yet. You hear the vault door open when Timmy comes back and I ain't hearing the vault door. All right, Ted's hungry, thirsty, hungry, thirsty, hungry, thirsty. I feel like they can, they can hold out a little bit longer. Our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know. He claimed he used to be an accountant, but now he survives as a trader and a gambler. He offered us a card game for a bet or two water bottles. Shall we play? No. I don't have playing cards. Yeah, you tell him, Ted. Gambling's a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set the kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. <laughs> we set that man away. Good riddance. Valuable lesson. Gambling is bad. Stealing is okay. Not true. Okay, everybody is in bad shape. Everybody is dehydrated and starving. Oh, that's... That's bad. Do I just give them full meals? But I was told on day five and day 10 and so on and so forth, 15 and 20. Can they survive one more day? You know what? I leave this in the fate of the comment section in YouTube, which never lies. Against my better judgment, I'm not going to feed them. 
or give them water. Okay, you know what? I, I can't do it. I'm gonna feed them. I'm at least gonna feed them. And then I'll give them water tomorrow. Hopefully I'm not making a terrible, catastrophic mistake. I've survived 10 days, so I'm happy. And everybody's alive. That's great. My people are very, very thirsty, so I am going to give them water. Enjoy. After all the days we spent down here, we're not exactly clean. We smell bad. Real bad. It didn't bother us until we noticed it, and now we're about to get sick. So why not take a shower? We don't have soap, but there are other alternatives to consider, like bug spray? Taking a shower? In bug spray? That seems real bad for you. Let's do it. This is a terrible idea, for the record. <gasps> Timmy! Timmy, you look awful. You look absolutely terrible. You're practically dead, my dude. We finally have good use for that bug spray we brought down. It probably smells better than we do, so we can use it to become a bit more presentable. Smell-wise, anyway. Timmy is back. He reached a church that was turned into a shelter, and the survivors there tried to convince him that tomatoes are the source of all evil and eggplants are the only hope for salvation. But they did give us one can of soup. That's it? And it left Timmy in this condition? Not worth it. Oh, Timmy is in bad shape. All right, buddy. You're hungry, tired, and sick. Yikes. You know what? You were a real trooper. You brought home some soup. I'm gonna feed you. Okay, we've got green goo leaking from the pipes, but we can use the Boy Scout manual to fix it. Let's do that. Oh. Do we have a phone? Ha! Problem solved. No leak, no mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. Timmy is in bad shape. Let's give him some water. Now, Timmy can go out on an expedition right now, but it says he has a chance to get back. How big a chance, though? Uh, looking at him? I would say just about zero. So let's not. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow. It seems it's ringing right now. We should send someone to answer it. I think I did this last time. This makes contact with some, some survivors in another town. Um, let's send out Mary Jane. You go, girl. You could use some fresh air. Timmy is looking very pale. <laughs> not good. I'm not giving out any rations today. Sending Timmy outside is a bit risky, but he's eager to help. You know, I mean, if we don't do anything, Timmy's probably not gonna make it anyways. So why don't we send him out in the hopes that he finds a first aid kit and saves himself? It's basically science. We've been hearing a lot of noises coming from our neighborhood today. Our guess is that there was a zoo escape and the animals are stampeding up there. It might be a good chance to hunt some fresh food. Who should go outside? Uh, let's send out Mary Jane. She's a great hunter. So I've heard. Not really. What? We found the herd and were able to bring down something that looked like a two-headed donkey that was carrying a package of sorts. Before we could get to it, a giant bird of prey swooped down, grabbed the carcass, and flew away. All that remained were a few cans of soup that fell out of the donkey's pack. I'll take it! Three cans of soup? Heck yeah! Alright, Timmy. You're going out today, so I'm gonna give you some food. You're starving, so I'm gonna give you food. You're also starving and dehydrated. Oh man, everybody is kind of dying. You know what? Everybody gets a little something. You don't need water, so you're good. Okay. What do we give Timmy? I don't know. He's probably not going to make it, so let's just give him nothing, which probably makes his chances even worse. You got this, buddy. You got this. Day 15. Let's go. Man, this game is stressful, dude. Okay, okay. This is something that I saw in the comments a couple of times. Apparently, if we don't kill the spiders, they will turn Mary Jane into a mutant. Which sounds kind of bad, but it's actually a good thing. Let's do that. Or at least try. Oh, oh! New species! I got the achievement! Heck yeah! Mary Jane, you look great. You look real good. We decided we could get rid of those spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever other body parts we could use for lethal anti-spider attacks. Unfortunately, we've underestimated their chances. They're really fast. All we achieved was getting tired. Maybe we'll have more luck next time. During our vicious fight with dozens of spiders, one got lucky and bit Mary Jane. It didn't seem serious, but when we got up this morning, she was different, just a little bit different. So as I understand it, now that she's a mutant, uh, she doesn't have to 
eat anymore or she doesn't have to drink water anymore. And she's also like an unstoppable force when it comes to expeditions. A small sacrifice to make for the survival of the entire family. Let's feed and give water to those who are no, not mutants. Yeah, she doesn't need water. She was dehydrated yesterday. Now she's a mutant. She's only hungry. I don't have a radio. Bummer. <gasps> Has he done it? Timmy the absolute legend. He looks terrible, but he's not dead. And he brought home a med kit. Oh my gosh. This kid is unstoppable. If there is one thing we need to do, it's to use a radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that or it's strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. The first option sounds a bit more sane. Welcome back, Timmy. I'm so happy that you made it. You went to the zoo and you just you got a whole bunch of stuff, not to mention you got to see the pterodactyl whales. Who doesn't love pterodactyl whales? Two bottles of water, a first aid kit. Oh man, I love it. Timmy basically just saved himself. We could give him the first aid kit and we can cure his sickness. However, I feel like maybe we can draw this out, see if he can survive a little bit longer, maybe get over his sickness if he stays in the shelter, and then we'll just start sending out Mary Jane. Ted is starving. I'm gonna feed him. Wasteland is no match for Mary Jane. That's right. You go, girl. Ooh, this is interesting. We found an anonymous note next to our shelter door. Whoever wrote it requests that we send one representative to a meeting tonight in a set location. That person must come unarmed. This bit worries us, but the author assures us he or she is friendly and doesn't mean to hurt us. Are we going to send someone to check it out? Do we send Mary Jane? I, I just, I have to know. I have to know what people think of Mary Jane. I'm sending Mary Jane. The meeting was organized by twin siblings, a brother and a sister who took it upon themselves to scout the remains of the city looking for trustworthy and decent people. They seemed honest about their intentions and were more than happy to meet them again. They said they know where to find us and they're going to contact us if they need some help. Okay, okay. Okay, mom and dad are th both dehydrated so I'm giving them water. Mary Jane is going out and she's hungry so I'm gonna give her food and then Timmy is starving but I'm not gonna give him the med kit. Not yet. Mary Jane, you got this. You can't carry anything apparently because mutants can't carry stuff. Okay, this is somewhat reassuring. If we don't do anything about Timmy's sickness, it might, might get worse. Key word there. So let's just take care of his other situations, which are uh, dehydration and hunger. Well, let's give him something to drink. I know this one. We did this on the mobile version. This is how we get the cat. I don't want the cat. The cat killed Ted last time. No cats. Not this time. <laughs> oh no, coughing. I think Timmy's getting worse. Do I give Timmy the first aid kit? Save his life? Yes, you know what? I do. Because maybe Mary Jane will, will find a new one. Timmy was cured! I mean, of course he was. We used the first aid kit. Congratulations, Timmy. You're not gonna die now from sickness. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there is any trouble in the area. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness and their owner started growling in a most terrifying way. We only had moments to decide what to do. We shoot it? Just use a flashlight. Scare it away with flashlight, right? Right? It's a dog. He barked. The dog barked. It wasn't like a mean bark and nobody's dead. We decided to check what's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog. The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. The next morning, we opened the door to let it out. It still hasn't returned. Hopefully, it will come back later. Cool. We made a dog friend. Okay, rations are looking pretty good. Everybody's in okay shape. Still don't have a radio. Oh, <gasps> Mary Jane's back. There she is. Look at that hair. Man, she went super saiyan while she was out there. Look at all the wonderful things that Mary Jane is telling us about what she saw outside. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Mary Jane. Bullets. And water. Thank you, Mary Jane. Oh, we're sending her back out. The wasteland is still no match for Mary Jane. Go get him, Mary Jane. We were happy to open the door today and see some friendly faces. The siblings are asking for our help yet again. They decided that a small tent is not fit to house their group anymore and decided to start building a small camp. 
They could use anything and anybody they can get, mainly for constructing houses. Let's give them an ax. We got a few splinters, but the work is done. We even had some fun. It was almost like building that treehouse in our backyard all over again. The group and their leaders appreciated our help and said they would definitely let us know when the whole thing is finished so we can come and visit them. Save us. Okay, rations are getting a little low. I'm a little concerned. Oh, the dog, he's back. And he's hungry and he wants a can of soup and we don't have that much soup. I'm gonna give him a can of soup in hopes that MJ brings us back a beautiful bounty of new soup cans. Enjoy the food, doggy. The dog was back to his former self in under an hour. We don't know what they put in that soup, but man, that stuff is good. We decided the dog needed a name and the right name for him was Pancake. Come here, Pancake, who's a good boy? Good old Pancake. Timmy is bored out of his mind and he won't leave Ted alone. First he wanted to play tag, now it's hide and seek, which are both terrible ideas for a small shelter like this. Ted is in a bad mood and just wants to be left alone, but Timmy isn't giving up. How about charades? Sure, let's play charades. That'll put Ted in a good mood. And Mary Jane's back. This really wasn't the best matchup. One moment Ted and Timmy were calmly writing down riddles, the next they were screaming at each other, accusing the other of cheating. How do you even cheat at this game? But on the bright side, MJ brought back a med kit and a can of soup and two bottles of water. Can you get more soup though? We need, we definitely need more soup. We're sending Mary Jane out again. Hey, we met another mutant. He has six arms. Let's give him some water. They'll protect us. We have water to spare, sort of. Hey, it's Pancake. Our friend is back, but he seems very nervous and he keeps barking and jumping. When we opened the door, he rushed out only to come back a moment later and bark at us again. Maybe we should follow him? What gear shall we take? A gun, bring a gun. Gun's still good. How's Pancake though? The old saying goes, better safe than sorry. The rifle seems to be the right choice of gear for venturing into the unknown. We didn't expect to run into trigger happy folk who started shooting before asking questions. Gunshots were enough to send Pancake running. We got back safely, but he didn't show up. No, Pancake. Okay, the friendly group is back and their camp is almost done. They just need some entertainment. Take our checkers board. Go for it. That's fine. Ew. Empty the bucket in the corner. You know what that bucket's for. Ted, you do it. Okay, we are running super low on food. And we have an opportunity to raid the local school. It's kind of messed up, but let's do it. Oh, I got an achievement. The dark side. I'm a bad guy. But look at all that soup. Plus four cans of soup. Oh, man, that's super messed up. Let's just never mention this whole thing again. Just moving on. We found a secret door. Uh, yeah, take a flashlight, I guess. What the heck? We found a radio. Okay, that's cool. Oh no, Timmy's sick. I'm not gonna give him the first aid though, not yet. Mary Jane is back, she found a gas mask. Well done. And more supplies, don't mind if I do. Day 60, I'm scared. Looks like the bandits are here. Padlock them, that should save us. Small padlock, stop them. We're safe from the bandits. Good. And MJ's back with cards, soup, and more water. Let's have a little chat with Timmy. Something wrong with him. Earthquake destroyed my radio and my gas mask. That's not cool. All right, the mutants protected us against a bandit strike, so that's cool. Thank you, mutants. Oh no. Dolores and Timmy destroyed the Boy Scouts book. They ripped it apart. Why? Day 70. How am I still alive? Oh no! The- What?! How did these go so bad so quickly?! We defended against the bandits. But- Not enough water?! Are you serious?! I didn't give them water! It was my fault. It was ultimately my fault. I didn't give them enough water. We could've won! And I blew it! You perished. Dang! Well, that was still an awesome run. The game continues to be a delight to play. It's brutal though. My people got dehydrated to death. But regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo on it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. And hopefully we won't die again.